What is going on everybody? Mega here with a, with a new Discord Pi tutorial video. And now in this tutorial, what we're going to be working on is that we're going to be like basically like a custom, a new custom in, in bed. Basically like taking what we learned from from the previous video and, and basically improving on it. We're going to be using the, the random statement in this embed and we're going to be like making a, a very customized embed. And if you haven't seen like the previous video on how to actually create an embed, you can view view it. The, the link is in, in, the, in the description. And another thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using multiple files in this video. Why? The reason why you would want to use multiple files when working with, in Python is because it makes it more, more organized. And that's what Python is all about. Since, since it's an object oriented programming language, you want, you want it to be as organized as possible. Currently, like we have all of our code all in, all in one uh, Python file, but eventually we're actually going to be moving all of these, the majority of this code into its own separate files. And this is going to be like the beginning of it where we're going to be using multiple files in this video. So, so first off, we actually need to need to create a, 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 a new file, a new file. So we're going to go over to our script folder and we're going to right click on YouTube and I'm going to create a new Python file and I'm going to call this one embed links. Okay. All right. And we're just going to leave it blank for now. And then at the top of our YouTube.py, we're going to create a new import statement called import embed links. And, and currently this isn't going to do anything because our embed links is, is, is empty. But we're going to fix that now. Basically what, what we're going to be doing with this embed is that we're going to be taking, we're going to be creating three lists and the, the embed is going to take this and take the information from the lists and, and, uh, and, and call it. So we need, we need our lists. The, the, the list that we're going to be creating is, is, a, is that we're going to be creating a link to a manga. We're going to, be creating a list that has the tags of the manga, and we could also create a, a a list that has the thumbnail of the manga. So to do that, we need three different well, mangas to, to to work with. I, I I'm taking all, all all of the manga that I'm going to be using from Manga Rock, but you can use whatever source that you you want. So the first one I'm going to take is that I'm going to take take it from Eden's zero and this now, now these are three mangas that random mangas that i chose i i've actually never read any any of these mangas but where the first one i'm going to use is is a is a manga manga is a eden zero so for the first the first list is going to be called manga links um and then we're going to do equals and then the brackets and then inside the brackets, it's going to be our actual links to, 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 to the, the manga page. So for our first link is we're going to go back to our page, copy the, the URL of, of the first manga, paste that in. I don't know what, what happened there, but go back here, comma, second quotations, go to the second page, copy it, go back to our code. Copy that in. And the last one, same thing. Quotations. Okay. And uh, that's our first list, manga links. Now, the second mm, list we need is, we're gonna call it manga tags. So same thing, brackets. Then we're gonna go go back to the page, and we're now this is gonna be a, a, a little bit different, where we're gonna go well with our like once we can see our our tags, we're gonna go back to the this. Ooh, I actually made a mistake here. There we go. Okay, and then we do quotations, and we're gonna do write the first tag. But it, it, we're, we're not going to do a comma. We're, we're just going to do a space, and then we're going to just do each each of the the tag names. So the second one is martial arts. 
space Ichi space adventure there we go again my uh, keyboard shift button is broken fantasy and shonen okay that's the first tag second tag action comedy harem adventure fantasy shonen Drama and Isekai. Okay. And the last one for Seven Deadly Sins. Quotations Supernatural. Action. Comedy, Romance, Ichi, Adventure, Fantasy, Shonen, And drama. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this list. And now the last one we're gonna call my manga thumb, which is gonna be the thumbnail of our of the web page thumbnails. So we're gonna go over to here. We're gonna right click on the thumbnail and open the image a new tab and copy this link. Second thumbnail. We can close this out. I'm gonna close this one out. Open the image new tab. Copy. Alright. Close these. And then the last one. Copy. Okay, and that's gonna do it for the for the lists. And so now we're gonna go back to our code. And so now since since we already imported our embed links, we don't need to do do that. So next, we're gonna scroll down to just just below here. We're gonna do at client dot command just like last time. Then we're gonna do async def and I'm going to call the command manga and just like always uh, a ctx and, and parameter okay and so first off we're going to need a variable called chosen underscore manga you can name it whatever you want but I like to choose a chosen manga and we're going to do equals random dot choice and we're going to do embed links dot manga links and so what this is going to do is, is it's going to choose a random link from manga links and and it's going to store it in in the variable cho chosen manga okay and on the next line we're going to do an if statement if chosen manga equals equals 
embed links dot manga links brackets zero. So what this does is, is that it, it, if the chosen manga is on the zero subgroup, which is the first first uh, choice in the in the link, then We're gonna create our embed, and this for this embed, I'm gonna just call it e equals Discord dot embed, and for the title, we're gonna call it embed links dot manga links zero. The description is gonna be embed links dot manga tags zero bracket zero the color it's gonna I'm gonna make the color red so zero x DC one four three C and then we're going to do the timestamp. It goes date time dot date time dot UTC now. Okay. And so now mm, for this one, we're going to do something different, uh, a, a new one, uh, a, a new thing. E dot set thumbnail. And this is going to be URL. goes embed links dot manga thumb zero and then we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time e dot set footer text goes f requested requested by ctx dot author dot name okay and now now the next thing we need to do is that we need, need to do the else statement and for the else statement it's just we're for, we're gonna do a for loop for i in range Then we're going to do len embed links dot manga links and then we're going to do another and then it's basically going to be the same thing that we did here but for everything that we did here, we're just gonna replace it and all the zeros we're gonna replace with I. And the last thing we need to do is do await ctx dot send embed embed equals e. Okay, and that's gonna do it. All right, and so now we can we can run it. Okay, and now we can we can go to the to the to the to the Discord server, and we're gonna do y dot manga. 
And as you can see, our embedded cr is created. We we have a link to the manga. It, it has all all the tags for for the chosen link, and it has the thumbnail of, of the manga. And then it has our footer and, and when it was created. It chooses the link at random, and then based on the random link chosen, it chooses the the correct tags and the correct thumb thumbnail. And and to prove that, we do y dot manga again, and we should, and it will give us a, a different one. And here's the second one. And let's try and get the first one. Nope. Okay, let's try again. Nope. There we go. All right, and and that's gonna do it. And that's gonna pretty much do it, do it for this video. In the next video, I guess we'll we're gonna work some more with with some embeds because you, you can do a lot with embeds. All right, and, and that's gonna do it. So this has been Mega, and I will see you again next time.